Thank you, Mr. Chair. I attended the second ever meeting of the Private Sector Advisory Panel, the PSAP, in Charleston, South Carolina, in 1999 as an observer, and was wondering a little, what's this all about? Here today, I speak to you as a chair of the PSAP and must inform you that we have just concluded the last ever meeting. This is not a, a sad milestone, but a good one. And that is because earlier this year, the Standing Committee approved the formation of the Private Sector Advisory Council, the PSAC, and in which we are currently finalising the membership so it can replace the PSAP going forward. Because the PSAP will be disbanded, this has not meant that 2021 was a quiet year. In fact, the focus of the PSAP was, in, was within two working committees, the Subcommittee on Cotton Promotion and the Subcommittee on Membership and Structure. On the promotion side, ensuring there was a successful World Cotton Day was the top priority, and it paid off in a big way. In August, the United Nations approved a resolution submitted by the Cotton Four Countries, that is Benin, Burkina Faso, Chad and Mali, and who were joined by Cote d'Ivoire in requesting that October the 7th be reserved for World Cotton Day on its permanent calendar. The other subcommittee on membership and structure spent much of its effort on the plan to reorganize the PSAP into the PSAC, which involved changing from an individual based membership of some 33 people to an organization based on structure and allowing only regional, national and international organizations to be members. Today, we have dozens of positive replies from the invitation sent out and have just concluded a series of three Zoom meetings with prospective members in order to explain the structure and the aims of the PSAC. As a reminder, I can confirm that the new PSAC will be divided into four pillars, producers and ginners, merchants and cotton related activities, spinners, weavers and machinery manufacturers, and brands and retailers. And this will have representation from all sectors of the cotton industry value chain the first time any organization has achieved that. Each pillar will have a chair, and then that chair plus two additional members will sit on the executive committee, which will be responsible for coordination of topics between the pillars and bringing agreed upon positions to member governments. Going forward, the PSAC will also bring greater private sector engagement at the plenary meetings, which, will, which we hope will, will will be mutually beneficial for both member governments and the private sector. With this message that you will be hearing a lot more from the PSAC going forward in 2022 and beyond, I take my leave. Thank you.